Hi, I'm Kate and this is Minerva and you're watching Raising Minerva. Hi there, I appreciate it's been a really long time since I made a video but here's a little hit for you today. I'm going to talk to you about Minerva's name, how we landed on it and what it means. So Minnie has quite an unusual name, plenty of people get Minnie's name wrong, um, they think I'm saying Minerva a lot of the time, they mishear me because of my accent, so they say Minerva, or they just don't really know the pronunciation of Minerva. Um, so in case you were wondering, it's M-I-N-E-R-V-A, so Minerva. Uh, and I'm making this video today just to tell you really all about that name, um, other names we went through first and how we landed on Minerva. Also a little bit about her middle name of Delphi as well. So our story probably starts similar to everybody else who's trying to name a tiny human. Um, you kind of have an idea of what kind of thing you would like uh, and then you just kind of look for the, uh, the inspiration really. We knew we would like quite an unusual name, that's just who we are, we're hippies a little bit, punks, you know. Um, so we wanted something a little bit different. Um, I actually have our baby book with the list right here from when we were pregnant, so I'm going to go through them now. You can hear some of these crazy ideas um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about um, why we were choosing these ones um, and then eventually get around to why we landed on Minerva. So let's go. Our first baby name here for a boy. Um, at this point we didn't know if we were having a boy or a girl, so I'll go through our boy ones as well. <laughs> you can hear those ones. So for boy, we had Diego, Wolf, Mars, Jet, Mondo, Magnus. I actually know a baby Magnus, so that's really cute actually. Uh, Justice, Maverick, Phoenix, Dax, a nice Star Trek reference there. Riker, another Star Trek reference. Moon which actually one of my favourite YouTubers has just named her baby Moon, so check out Mr. Kate, she's got a little boy called Moon. Clifford, which was my granddad's name and actually ended up would have been our little boy's middle name if we'd have had a boy. Um, Arlo and Indigo, those were our boy names that we picked. Moving on over to girls, which obviously are the most important ones because that's what we've ended up having. Um, this is our list for our girl names that we picked out, so we have Ember, Minerva, Moon, again we thought that was nice and interchangeable so you could have a little girl that was called Moon as well, uh, Midnight, Pepper, Mitzi, Sakura, Lorelei, which is a Gilmore Girls reference because I am obsessed with Gilmore Girls, Esme, Justice again because we thought again that was interchangeable, Phoenix again interchangeable, we have Dax on the girls list which is uh, another Star Trek reference, Seven which is another Star Trek reference, uh, Jubilee which we nixed because it sounds a little bit too royal um, and we're not royalists at all, um, Cloud, Nova, Peach and Maple so yeah it's a bit of an unusual one at the end there, there's a lot of these now that I'm looking through again and I'm like eh eh no way would I call a child maple um, but it was in our head at the time and I was probably a little bit hormonal and, and crazed at the time um, so that's our little list there of all the names we could have picked that's what you could have won um, and then on the other page you see that we chose Mars and Minerva so Mars for a boy and Minerva for a girl so I'll talk a little bit about how we landed on those names now so from our big list we landed on Minerva when we found out we were having a girl. Um, so a little bit behind the name Minerva, we were looking at ancient history for that name and uh, she's actually a Roman goddess. Um, Minerva was the goddess of art, craft, wisdom and strategy in war. So these things really spoke to us about what we wanted for our child, for our daughter. Um, we really wanted her to be creative, um, we wanted to lean towards intelligence and education because of the home ed journey that we decided we were going to go on already. Um, and we really liked the idea of her being like a fierce little fighter as well um, and can sort of fight her way through the world, not physically of course, um, but really have the, the kind of smarts and the wherewithal to, um, to really fight through life and, and sort of get where she wants to be with life. Um, so we really thought that Minerva, as a goddess, 
um, really encapsulated all of that. Kind of as a happy accident as well, Minerva the goddess is often portrayed with an owl headdress or with an owl by her side. And the owl um, is the symbol of Leeds, um, which is near where we live. So we thought that that would be really apt as well, a little bit of a heart to kind of where she's from as well and where she was born. So that's really the, the reasons we, we landed on Minerva. Um, and uh, and yeah, we, we just kind of thought it, it sounded like it was going to be perfect for a little girl. Um, it can be shortened really nicely to Mini or Min. Uh, and then we've since found out actually as well that um, Minerva is Minnie Mouse's full name, full um, real name. So I love Disney and that was great for that as well. So yeah, all of these things um, mean that that's why that was the perfect name for us to pick. So not many people know um, Minerva's middle name, which is Delphi. Um, we landed on this because I was really obsessed with the name Delphine. Um, but the N and the E at the end of Delphine didn't really work with her surname. So Minerva Delphine sounds beautiful, but not with the surname as well. It became a bit of a mouthful. So Brendan came to me with all of his knowledge and wisdom and suggested Delphi. Um, because he's really into ancient mythology, that's actually Greek and um, is the Greek seat of the Oracle. So the Oracle at Delphi, which uh, represented the centre of the world. So because she was the centre of our world, it was the perfect fit. So we had landed on Minerva Delphi. She's really living up to her name. She's fierce like the warrior goddess and she's also smart and creative. So I am really pleased we picked this name for her. I think it fits her wonderfully. Um, what I love about it, it shortened as well. Um, and just the middle name, it reminds us always to keep Minnie at the center of our world. Um, again, like I say, it's really hard naming a person, um, but we did it and we're really proud of the name we picked out. I hope it's been really helpful for you to learn a little bit more about why Minerva is called Minerva, how to say Minerva, um, and uh, it's just given a bit of an insight into, into us and our journey in naming a tiny human being. So thank you so much for watching and um, once again if you really like this video you can subscribe and please make sure to click the notification bell as well. You can follow me on Instagram it's just at Raising Minerva uh, and now you know how to spell it. <laughs> um, so hope to see you again soon for another video. Let me know in the comments below if there's any ideas, uh, anything you want to ask me especially to do with Minnie's name and I will do my best to help you out on that one. Thanks very much for watching. See you again soon. Bye!